video I'll be showing you how to do a 99 to 03 F250 Super Duty transmission bypass delete. So basically you're going to be deleting the bypass line which has a little valve in it. Check valve that sometimes will fail. So we're going to go ahead and take that. Alright guys, these are going to be your tools. You got a 5 8 and a 7 8 wrench. This is for the smaller fitting. This is for the bolt. <clears throat> this is what you're going to be taking off. This is the bypass. This is where the, the valve sits, that uh, little check valve. It's like a ball that sits inside of there. Sometimes this fails and your transmission uh, will start leaking fluid and it's gonna overheat. It's gonna overheat, then it's gonna start leaking. And so this is what you wanna eliminate. And I'll go ahead and show you how we do it. It's very simple. No need to drain your transmission. Uh, a pan or any of that it's a little messy that's about how much it leaked so you know just be willing to get a little messy this It'll is be a 2003 um so basically what we're going to be removing today is this this is one head or ending of the bypass line and as you can see it runs up i don't know if you can see it on camera kind of blurry there we go see it runs up right there so we're going to be taking this that's the other head we're going to be taking uh that out today and for our bolts our flow bolts right there we're going to be putting in and i'll show you in the next part of it but we're going to be putting um, these two go with this so we're going to be putting a washer like that so for one side it's going to take the diameter is going to be a little bit smaller the other side is going to be a little bit bigger uh recommend spraying some brake cleaner to get it clean so you're going to need a 5 8 and a 7 8 to do the job so we're going to go ahead and loosen this right here break it loose and then And I got this delete kit off of Amazon. I'll leave a link, God willing, in the description. Uh, it's not an affiliated link either. It's just, I'll just post up the link where I got it. So you yeah, basically just unplug this. It's a little messy, not, not too bad. Put that right there. We'll take our seven eighths. set your washer uh, on the outside put put this on and then as you can see this is our bypass line we'll go ahead and push that out the way push that up we'll go ahead and stick okay start screwing the back in well we're screwing the back in Okay guys, we got it back in. We'll just go ahead and tighten. We got that on nice and tight. Gonna wipe it down. As you can see, this is this is hanging loose back there. We're gonna pull that line out after and we're gonna go ahead and loosen this with our 5 eighths. Pull this off and then take uh, take our bolt out and then do the same process. We're gonna put our washer first, then that, and then that. We'll go ahead and loosen this all the way. All right, we got both sides back on. And we'll go ahead and spray it down, and wipe down, make sure there's no uh, leaks. And like I said earlier, there's some of these, uh, depending on how much rust you got on your truck, some of these may be difficult to remove, so you might have to soak it in some PB Blaster. This truck is never going to see the cold climate, so that's, uh, you don't need this. Um, this is a 
Texas and California truck. So, and as you can see, it's uh, it's warming up slower because it's actually the fluid isn't bypassing um, the cooler through those cooler lines. So it's uh, it's better this way, you know, unless you live in super cold climates. But I mean, even then, th those uh, those valves will fail.